the quantum revolution, reality isn't solid. It's hard to overstate how much quantum mechanics changed everything we thought we knew about reality. Before it, physics was simple. Matter was solid, predictable, and followed clear rules. You drop an apple, it falls. You flick a light switch, photons travel in straight lines. Easy. But when scientists began studying the tiniest building blocks of nature, particles smaller than atoms, everything broke down. The most famous example? The double slit experiment. Fire particles of light, photons, at two slits. If they're just particles, they should form two bands on the wall behind, but they don't. They form interference patterns, waves overlapping, as if each photon passed through both slits at once. It behaves like a wave until someone observes it. The moment you watch, it stops behaving like a wave and acts like a solid particle instead. Now that single observation changes reality. Not the equipment, not the experiment, just the act of looking. And that's the heart of quantum mechanics. At the smallest scales, the universe isn't solid. It's fuzzy, probabilistic, a haze of potential that doesn't decide what it is until it's observed. Which leads to an uncomfortable question. If reality only becomes real when it's measured, who or what's doing the measuring when no one's looking? Physicists like Niels Bohr and Werner Heisenberg argued that consciousness, the observer, plays a fundamental role in shaping the outcome. Now, Einstein hated that idea, famously saying, I like to think the moon is there even if I'm not looking at it. But quantum mechanics, frustratingly, doesn't seem to care what Einstein likes. The math says observation changes reality, and we're still trying to figure out how.